and welcome to Bacon Pancakes, Making Bacon Pancakes. My name bacon is Simone, pan. this is George, and this is where we watch Kevin Bacon in a movie. Uh, he's not even the lead character. I don't know, I just saw that he was in it. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching A Few Good Men. One of them is uh, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> it looks like a military movie because the poster is uh, Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson, Demi Moore all wearing... Uh, some sort of military hat. I don't know. Okay. And then beneath them is a flag with a, like a judge's gavel. That's it. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. The tagline okay. is, wow, it's very long. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tag paragraph. Okay. In the, in the heart of the nation's capital, in a courthouse of the U.S. government, one man will stop at nothing to keep his honor and one will stop at nothing to find the truth. So courtroom drama... Mars. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Quaid. I must get to. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Guantanamo Bay. Oh, okay. Nothing controversial has ever happened there. <clears throat> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh. no. Ooh. Oh. Okay, but he's not a prisoner. He's no, a he was just soldier. in a like a dorm type thing. What the hell? Jesus, oh, okay. what a f***ing start. This cheerful music suddenly is so <laughs> cheerful now. Yeah. <laughs> Opening. You think Bacon is actually his family name or he just chose it to be a stage name? I think it's actually his name. He's in a band called the Bacon Brothers. Interesting. I can't not think of um, Full Metal Jacket when I see yeah. what they're doing. Four inch from your chest or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Wait, was that the guy from that night? It's hard to tell they all have shave heads, so. <laughs> and they're all wearing hats. <laughs> like they just went to like an actual military base to film this, right? Yeah. Oh, screenplay by Aaron Sorkin. The guy that did the newsroom. Oh. And a bunch of other amazing things, I think. Cool. That'd be I who I'm assigned. That's good. That's confidence inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Her name can technically mean half of more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Two Marines entered the barracks room of a PFC, William Santiago, and assaulted him. Santiago died at the base hospital. Oh. Jesus. Dawson and Downey are both recruiting poster Marines. And Santiago was known to be a screw-up. I was thinking it sounded an awful lot like a code red. Code red. And I'd like to suggest that I be the one who that... Uh, that it be me oh. uh, who is assigned to represent oh. them, myself. You were so good until... <laughs> just now. Commander, I'd like you to leave the room so we can talk about you behind your back. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> uh. When it comes to trial work, I think... I know, know, I know. All passion, no street smarts. Bring her back in. Jesus. You're much too valuable in your present assignment to be wasted on what I'm sure will boil down to a five-minute plea bargain and a week's worth of paperwork. I promise you, Division will sign the right man for the job. Okay. Oh. Now we either get it done, and I mean now, or no kidding, Kathy. I'm gonna hang your boy from a fucking yard arm. Dave sure doesn't think the Navy hangs people from yard arms anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll recommend 30 days in the brig with loss of rank and pay. It was oregano, Dave. It was ten dollars worth of oregano. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna spend the next three months going blind on paperwork because the signalman second class bought and smoked a dime bag of oregano. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even though he's, you know, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I don't know why I'm agreeing to this. You have wisdom beyond your years. He's arrogant, but he has the right to be. Because mm. he's really good at it, apparently. How's the baby, Sam? Sarah, I think she's getting ready to say her first word any day now. She just looks like she has something to say. <laughs> oh, that's the guy from uh, Reservoir Dogs. Been requested by division. A Marine corporal illegally fires a round over the fence line. What's a fence line? A big wall separating the good guys from the bad guys. 
Dawson and another member of his squad go into Santiago's room, stuff a rag down his throat, and an hour later, Santiago's dead. Jeez. Ew. On Wednesday at 0600, you'll catch transport down to Cuba for the day to find out what you can. Uh, the flight to Cuba, was that 0600 in the morning? <laughs> in other words, I have no responsibilities here whatsoever. Right. My kind of case. <laughs> okay, okay. Daniel Caffey, I was told to meet with the... Uh... He's kind of like his character in uh, Top Gun again. Mm. Just... You're the attorney division assigned? I'm lead counsel to Sam Weinberg. I have no responsibilities here whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> how long have you been in the Navy? Going on nine months now. And how long have you been out of law school? A little over a year. I see. <laughs> it's kind of a slap in the face. Mm-hmm. He successfully plea bargained 44 cases in nine months. One more, I get a set of steak knives. <laughs> have you ever been in a courtroom? Sure is stained and dirty. Yeah. One of the people you'll be seeing down there is the barracks CEO, Colonel Nathan Jessup. He's expected to be appointed Director of Operations at National Security Council. Mm. <laughs> He's kind of a goof. Yeah. He wanted to be transferred off the base. He wrote to the Naval Investigative Service where he offered information about Corporal Dawson's fence line shooting. This letter makes it look like your client had a motive to kill Santiago. Who? The victim. Jesus. I'll get them to drop the conspiracy and conduct unbecoming. 12 years. Commander, do you have some sort of jurisdiction here? I'm special counsel for internal affairs, so my jurisdiction's pretty much in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friend not to get cute down there. The Marines in Guantanamo are fanatical. About what? About being Marines. It's just like you said in uh, Full Metal Jacket, little culty. Mm -hmm. I'm writing to inform you of my problems with my unit here in Cuba and to ask for your help. Oh, man. My sergeant grabbed me and pushed me down the hill, and the last thing I remember is hitting the deck. Oh. I just need to be transferred out of RSC. Sincerely, PFC William T. Santiago, U.S. Marine Corps. Oh, man. Well, apparently he's not very happy down here at Shangri-La because he's written letters to everybody but Santa Claus asking for a transfer. <laughs> okay. I can handle this situation, sir. The same way you handled the Curtis Bell incident? Sir, my methods doing... of leadership... Don't interrupt me, Lieutenant. I'm still your superior officer. And I'm yours. Ooh. I think Santiago should be transferred off the base immediately. He's that bad, huh? Not only that, but where of this letter's bound to get out, he's gonna get his ass whipped. Hmm. Wait, so this is before the attack? Yeah, yeah. Let's transfer the whole squad off the base. Get me the president on the phone. We're surrendering our position in Cuba. <sighs> Okay. Santiago stays where he is. Oh, We're going to train the lad. <clears throat> Santiago doesn't make 4646 on his next proficiency in conduct report. Then I'm going to kill you. Jesus. Jesus. So he's basically responsible for... Yeah. I'd be delighted to hear any suggestions that you might have, sir. Dismissed. Yes, sir. <gasps> it is very culty. Taking a Marine who is not quite up to the job oh. and shipping him off to another assignment puts lives in danger. Oh my god. How? Just mental gymnastics. I don't know, maybe because it's like he thinks it we reflects badly on we went to the academy people who are to teaching him here. We like, but it's just, Ego. just too bad. Yeah. We're in the business of saving lives, Lieutenant Colonel Markinson. Don't ever question my orders in front of another officer. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, so he's the bad guy in the movie. Oh. Yeah, it's... I mean, like, if somebody's desperate enough to write pleading letters to, like, every... Yeah. You know, like he said, everyone except Santa Claus. Yeah. You gotta take it seriously. Is this Washington, D.C.? All right, let's move. Yes, sir. Oh, these are the guys that att did the attack. Mm-hmm. I wanted to talk to you about Corporal Dawson and Private Downing. Those names sound like they should mean something to me, but I'm Jesus, Dawson. this guy. Yeah. I was just wondering why two guys have been locked up since this morning while their lawyer's outside hitting a ball. But I don't think you're fit to handle the defense. Ordinarily, it takes someone hours to discover I'm not fit to handle the defense. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. What is his deal? He's young and he thinks that he's all that and... Yeah. 
doesn't take things seriously. You went to Harvard Law, then you joined the Navy. Probably because that's what your father wanted you to do. And now you're just treading water for the three years you've got to serve in the JAG mm -hmm. Corps. Ah, uh, okay. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I allowed Dawson and Downey to spend any more time in prison because their attorney had predetermined the path of least resistance. I'm sexually aroused, Command. Jesus. The doctor's report says that Santiago died of asphyxiation brought on by acute lactic acidosis and that the nature of the acidosis strongly suggests poison. Wait, so... Hmm. I'm gonna talk to your supervisor. I was assigned by division, remember? Somebody over there thinks I'm a pretty good lawyer, so I think I can handle things myself. You know what a code red is? I don't. Everyone else <laughs> seems to. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah. Someone has been working and playing well with others, Harold. Sir! Yes, sir! Sir, PFC, loud and downy, sir! So shouty. <laughs> when they got out of the car and they were handcuffed, they seemed... Mm -hmm. Yes, sir! In all. Yeah. Or signature? just like... Sir, yes, sir! So you don't need to do it twice in one sentence. Like a bit scared and, and <laughs> passive, you know? Like it didn't seem... Mm -hmm. What's basic code red? A Marine refuses to bathe on a regular basis. The minute his squad would give him a GI shower. Scrub brushes, Brillo pads, steel wool. Ooh. Okay. Does, uh... He ever talk? Sir, PFC Downey will answer any direct questions you ask him. They're basically like robots. <laughs> we saw blood dripping down his mouth. We pulled the tape hmm. off and there was blood all down his face, sir. Holy shit. Did you fire a shot across the fence line into Cuba? A mirror engaged, sir. For every American sentry post, there's a Cuban counterpart. They're called mirrors. Santiago's letter saying that the uh, mirror never made a move. You see what I'm getting at? Okay. What was your intent? To train him to respect the code. What's the code? Unit, core, God, country. Country's last. Wow. Very fanatical. <laughs> you want me to go to the prosecutor with unit, core, God, country? That's our code, sir. It's code. <laughs> Harold, I think there's a concept you better start warming up to. Sir, I'm the only friend you've got. Wow. Okay, so it definitely doesn't seem like that they were the one who actually killed him. No, like, I, I don't... There he is. <laughs> Jack Ross. Welcome Kevin Bacon. Um, think so? No, it doesn't seem like... Downey, say, like when he said, law, like, was your intent to kill him? And he, like, I believe that it wasn't. Mm-hmm. So it was... An accident, and and now it's like. But the poison? The coming twenty years, they're home and half that. I want twelve. Can't do it. They called the ambulance, Jack. Look, I don't care if they call the Avon. Ew! Don't pick through the. <laughs> That's just unsanitary. Mm. Platoon commander Lieutenant Jonathan Kendrick held a meeting with the men, and specifically told them not to touch Santiago. Okay. The kid in Kathy, I swear, doesn't know where he is. Doesn't even know why he's been arrested. Oh my God. Hmm. If you ever speak to a client of mine again without my permission, I have you disbarred. I have authorization. <laughs> you got authorization from Aunt Jenny? I'm going to Cuba with you tomorrow. The movie is trying to portray Demi Moore as like a pestering character, is oh, it? Oh, not at no, not at all. Uh, yeah, I don't think she is, right? So I don't know why he's so antagonistic towards him. I guess he's just dismissive of everybody. Yeah. Like yeah, I can no, understand Demi at the Moore beginning is of the in movie. The right, like she, I'm on her yeah. side. Like at the beginning of the movie, when her superiors treat her that way, I get that concept of like mm. you know he's not she's not being taken seriously but mm -hmm. i don't forget mm -hmm. when sally gets back you're my witness the baby spoke my daughter said a word your daughter made a sense <laughs> i'm not sure it was a word come on now <laughs> she said pa she was pointing at a mailbox sam <laughs> to say pa look a mailbox <laughs> oh that's cute jack ross came to see me today he offered me the 12 years i mean i guess I'll take it up. So those guys go to jail for 12 years. And that's the best deal. You don't believe their story, do you? I believe every word of their story, and I think they ought to go to jail for the rest of their lives. Okay. Don't forget to wear the whites. Very hot down there. You got Dramamine? Dramamine keeps you from throwing up. I get sick when I fly because I'm afraid of crashing into a large mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I got some oregano. I heard that works pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> He said the platoon commander, Lieutenant Jonathan Kendrick, had a meeting with the men and specifically told him not to touch Santiago. I never mentioned Kendrick. I don't even know who he is. Oh, so that's the meeting with Jack Nicholson mm. that we saw that met. No, that wasn't that wasn't Kevin Bacon that was there, though. No, no. But that's the meeting he's talking about. Oh, OK. I think. Maybe. We'll be riding pretty close to the fence line. The Cubans oh, see an officer wearing white. Mm. I think it might be someone they want to take a shot at. Good call, Sam. 
<laughs> oh man. Is there a problem, sir? No, no problem. I'm just not that crazy about boats, that's all. Jeez. So he can't fly and he can't be on boats? <laughs> and he's in the Navy. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting your father once. I was a teenager. He spoke at my high school. Lionel Caffey? How the hell is your dad, Danny? He passed away seven years ago, sir. Don't I feel like the fucking asshole? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a lot to live up to. His dad's on the right side of history for sure, so... Mm -hmm. I'm like, for the neck of woods. <laughs> yeah, he just... He seems like... He's smart, but he's inexperienced-ish. But he has this, like... This reputation because of his dad. Mm-hmm. What time is that meeting? 1600. It's four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like Tom Cruise has got the blase attitude down to mm -hmm. like every aspect, the walking, the casual eating of food. Yeah. Wiping the, the apple juice on his shirt. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Mm. OK. Sam, we should make sure somebody gets this to his parents. We don't need it anymore. Do you think Santiago was murdered? He is dead because he had no code and God was watching. Jesus. Okay. So, didn't really answer the question. <laughs> if you feel there are any details that I'm missing, you should feel free to speak up. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We agreed that for his own safety, Santiago should be transferred off the base. What? On the first available hmm. flight to the state. So he's lying. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute, I've got some questions. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. <laughs> we received a cautionary memo from the commander-in-chief of the Atlantic fleet. Do Code Red still happen on this base? Joe. And we know that it d does because the... B yeah. The there is nothing on this earth sexier, believe me, gentlemen, than a woman <sighs> that you have to salute in the morning. Jesus. I need an answer to my question, sir. Take caution in your tone. I'm a fair guy, but this fucking heat is making me absolutely crazy. Jesus Christ. I run my unit how I run my unit. I eat breakfast 300 yards from Cubans who are trained to kill me, so don't think you can come down here and make me nervous. So he easily could have just not said that Code Red is still practiced, but he has to do it. Mm. Like his pride doesn't let him. Of course, you can have a copy of the transfer order. You have to ask me nicely. <laughs> mm hmm What I do want is for you to stand there in that white uniform and with your Harvard mouth extend me some fucking courtesy. So he's just like, just on yeah, the, the just... biggest power trip of all time. I mean, from he's <laughs> the way he spoke to the person that he supposedly, you know, went up the ranks together, right? Mm-hmm. Don't ever question me, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. Like, yeah, so he's just a complete egomaniac. I guess because he's like what, alone on a little island, he's the leader of that little island, right? So over time. So side note, uh, Johnny Knoxville and Jack Nicholson, are they related? What? <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Carl Markinson's gone UA, unauthorized absence. I know what it means. When? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, you're coming dangerously close to the textbook definition of interfering with a government investigation. <laughs> Dude. She is doing all the work for you. Yeah. I think Kendrick ordered the code red and so do you. Let's go. Mm hmm. Did Lieutenant Kendrick order you guys to give Santiago a code red? Yes, sir. Okay. You mind telling me why the hell you never mentioned this before? You didn't ask us, sir. <laughs> Lieutenant Kendrick says that he gave strict instructions that nothing was to happen to Santiago. Lieutenant Kendrick came to our room, man, about 1620, ordered us to give Santiago a code red. Hey. Shit. It's Joe Galloway. She's Downey's lawyer. She's very pleased to meet you. <laughs> That's not what Kendrick said. Kendrick's lying. You have proof? I have the defendants. Markinson's gone. There is no Markinson. <sighs> I'll knock it all down to involuntary manslaughter. Two years or home in six months. No deal. We're going to court. Joe. No, you're not. No. Oh. Danny knows that in a courtroom, he loses his case. See, Danny is an awfully talented lawyer. Mm -hmm. You probably shouldn't say all this. Now it's a challenge. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow morning at the arraignment. Oh, yeah, that's so messed up. Because, he, yeah, he's dealing with... Mm -hmm. We did nothing wrong, sir. We did our job. And if that has consequences, then mm. I'll accept them. Mm -hmm. and I won't say that I'm guilty, sir. Okay. Right, because they were just ordered to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 
Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to the movie. We have a code, oh. sir. Well, zippity doo da. <laughs> zippity doo da. After six months, we'll be dishonorably discharged, right, sir? What do we do then, sir? Mm hmm. I believe I did my job, and I will not dishonor myself, my unit, or the Corps, so that I can go home in six months! Okay. We're gonna go in another room. We'd like to go in another room. And this guy doesn't speak, so I need to know what he's thinking. You don't like me very much, do you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd lose. You're such a coward. I can't believe they let you wear a uniform. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What happened to saluting an officer when he leaves the room? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get him a new lawyer. How do I do it? When you ask the judge for new counsel, Danny, be sure and ask nicely. I want you to stand up and make an argument. An argument that didn't work for the Nazis at Nuremberg. Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Nuremberg is... <laughs> These guys aren't the Nazis. Don't look now, Danny, but you're making an argument. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you so afraid to be look. a lawyer? Were Daddy's expectations really that high? Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Dawson and Downey will have their day in court, but they'll have it with another lawyer. She's so right, though. Mm-hmm. Do you believe they have a case? It doesn't matter what I believe. It only matters <laughs> what I can prove. You're an ambulance chaser with a rank. Oh. You're nothing. Oh, man. Come on, Cruz. Do the right thing. <laughs> it's so funny. Just like these little things that <laughs> make him like... Yeah. They need Vinny and Mercer Tomei. Hmm. Does the defense wish to enter a plea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're not guilty. Oh. <gasps> Okay. Going to war. Why does a Lieutenant Junior grade and a track record for plea bargaining get assigned a murder case? Would it be so that it never sees the inside of a courtroom? Uh We need all the proficiency and conduct reports on Dawson. Oh my Santiago. god. The only thing I have to eat is you who and Coco Puff, so if you want anything else, bring it with you. <laughs> so this is what a courtroom looks like. <laughs> That's a good point to consider why they gave so, it to him. So they just want to get it swept under whatever and mm -hmm, dealt with mm -hmm. so they gave it to the laziest guy possible even though he's like really so good I could be Markinson, I yeah he's just, yeah 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 are you markinson no i'm not markinson that's two down <laughs> <laughs> if you're not permitted to question orders i give orders every day nobody follows. we have softball games and marching bands they work at a place where you have to wear camouflage or you might get shot yeah Oh, God, yeah. After watching Full Metal Jacket? Jesus, it's like... Mm-hmm. No one can prove there is poison on the rag. I don't know what made Santiago die. I don't want to know. I just want to be able to show it could have been something other than poison. Oh, okay. Research montage. Mm-hmm. Doctor, was there any sign of violence? You mean other than the dead body? Shit. Oh. Walking to that every goddamn time. <laughs> Jury trial is not just about the law, it's about assigning blame. Santiago's dead, and he shouldn't be. These nine people are going to insist that someone be blamed for that. Bonding! <laughs> don't flinch in front of the court members. Something doesn't go our way, don't hang your head, don't shift in your seat. Okay. Don't wear that perfume in court. It wrecks my concentration. Really? <laughs> I was talking to Sam. <laughs> Anime to lover? Is that where we're going? That's my shit! <laughs> <laughs> Take my breath out. <laughs> I'll see you in court, counselor. Danny, I know what you're going to say. You don't have to. Kiss. <laughs> but we don't have to make a whole big deal out of it. You like me? I won't make you say it. I was just going to tell you to wear matching socks tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cut someone off and then shove words in their mouth <laughs> and make assumptions. What woman doesn't love that? <laughs> I didn't know the Washington Monument had those like red lights at the top. Mm. Looks eerie at night. <laughs> like a like an alien obelisk. Oh jeez. Just staring down at everybody. Oh man, I want to go to Washington. Your aunt Jenny? Uh-huh. I was expecting someone older. So was <laughs> I. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
The accused entered the barracks room of their platoon mate, PFC William Santiago. He drowned in his own blood and was pronounced dead at 37 minutes past midnight. Now, Lieutenant Caffey, he'll have no evidence, mind you, none, but it's going to be entertaining. Some, some good bacon. <laughs> When Dawson and Downey went into Santiago's room that night, it wasn't because of vengeance or hatred. It's because it was what they were ordered to do. Is the government ready to call its first witness? I need to watch Legal Eagle afterwards to see how authentic this is. What's that? It's a lawyer channel. Do yeah, they do this movie? I hope so. Lance Corporal Dawson's been charged with a number of crimes. Why was he charged with firing at the enemy without cause? Santiago was the only eyewitness. I never had the chance to interview him, so I don't know what he saw. And now we'll never know. Shit. Yeah. Private Santiago betrayed a code we believe in very deeply, sir. Oh, boy. Honestly asking this witness to testify as to how my clients felt on September 6th? Uh -huh. Sustained. <laughs> yeah. What was the order? Sir, he said Santiago wasn't to be touched. Uh-huh. And that's on record, on paper, the other one isn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can call your next witness tomorrow morning. All rise. Man. <sighs> the doctor's not telling the truth. Oh, hmm. that's a relief. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to use a liar liar pants on fire defense. <laughs> <laughs> if the muscles and other cells of the body burn sugar instead of oxygen, lactic acid is produced. Did Willie Santiago die of poisoning? Absolutely. Mm. Is it possible to have a serious coronary condition where the initial warning signals were so mild as to escape a physician during a routine medical exam? Oh, that's why he was like passing it in the running earlier yeah yes shortness of breath yes all Fatigue. the stuff that oh my god mm-hmm and it was ignored and that's why yeah. he's lying covering his own ass is that this is an order for private santiago to be put on restricted duty patient complains of chest pains shortness of breath and fatigue <laughs> okay okay private santiago was given a clean bill of health that's why it had to be poison right commander mm-hmm was Willie Santiago poisoned? Your Honor, we renew our objection to Commander Stone's testimony and ask that it be stricken from the record. The witness is an expert and the court will hear his opinion. Shit. I always find it very <gasps> weird to ask the jury to like strike something from the memory after hearing it. I know, it's, it's yeah. Like, they still heard it. Mm -hmm. We'll stand in recess until 10 hundred, Monday the 19th, at which time the defense will call its first witness. <laughs> also just like, <laughs> Country versus two people. Every time they cuss to Kevin Bacon, just imagine the map of the U.S. sitting there. <laughs> Objection. Overruled. No, 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 no. No, I strenuously object. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we were working 20 hours a day for three and a half weeks. Take the night off. Go see your wife. See your daughter, Joe. Go do whatever it is. You <laughs> <laughs> I should have called first. No, no, I was uh, just watching the ball game. Money. Has your breath been taken away? <laughs> I was wondering if how you'd feel about my taking you to dinner tonight. Are you asking me out on a date? No. <laughs> Faith. <laughs> Why are you always giving me your resume? Because yeah. <laughs> everybody doesn't take her seriously. Exactly. She has to prove herself in every minute. I think you're an exceptional lawyer. And I think Dawson and Downey are going to end up owing their lives to you. Let's pretend for a minute that it would actually matter to this court that the guys were given an order. I can't prove it ever happened. Does the fact that the colonel disappeared not play into this? Yeah, that like, seems weird. Like vanished right after? Yeah. Name some reasons why a Marine would receive a code red. Keeping his barracks in disorder? Falling back on a run? Would you turn to the chapter that deals with code reds, please? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, I assume we'll find the term code red in its definition in that book. Am I correct? No, sir. No further questions. I ask why. Corporal. <laughs> he just grabs <laughs> it. Could you turn the page in this book that says where the mess hall is, please? <laughs> well, Lieutenant Caffey, that's not in the book, sir. <laughs> right. How did you know where the mess hall was if it's not in this book? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> Even he knows it. <laughs> Oh. Jesus. Oh, that's the colonel's friend. The the guy that the ran? One disagrees with him. He's going to give info, right? Yeah. Wait, so that... Did Kendra give the order? 
Yes. Did you witness it? I know. Yeah, you know shit. He was never going to be transferred off that base. <laughs> got the transfer. It's got your signature. Yeah, I know. I signed him the morning you arrived in Cuba five days after Santiago died. Yeah, because they had to fake it. Mm-hmm. I want you to know that I'm proud neither of what I have done nor of what I am doing. Holy shit. I want him guarded. That's probably a good idea. My clearance code is 4115 Thank you. <laughs> clearance code? Do you have a clearance code? <laughs> <Danny. laughs> uh, there's still a lot of movie left. I feel like that guy's gonna die. Oh, well, something's gonna happen. Well, that's probably Where? why he ran in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. I have Mark and Sam. Oh, God. Oh, God. Transfer the marks and sign. It's phony. Oh, I don't feel good about this. If you accuse Kendrick or Jessup of any crime without proper evidence, you're going to be subject to a court martial for professional misconduct. And I want to tell you that I think the whole fucking bunch of you are certifiably insane. This code of honor of yours makes me want to beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> I represent the government hmm. of the United States without passion or prejudice. My client has a case. Here you go. Hmm. I really like this dynamic that the opposing lawyer is a friend. Mm-hmm. Who's just doing his job and is a good guy. You got bullied into that courtroom, Danny. You got bullied into that courtroom by the memory of a dead lawyer. Ugh. You're a lousy fucking softball player, Jack! <laughs> <laughs> if you recall an incident involving a PFC Curtis Bell who'd been found stealing liquor from the officers club? You prefer to be handled within the unit. Yes, I most certainly did. Did you order Dawson and two other men to make sure the private bell received no food? Wouldn't this form of discipline be considered code red? Hmm. Lance Corporal Dawson was given a below average rating because he had committed a crime. What crime did he commit? Lieutenant Kendrick? Space. <laughs> Brought a hungry guy some food. He disobeyed an order. Oh. Mm-hmm. A Marine of Dawson's intelligence can be trusted to determine on his own which are the really important orders and which orders might say be morally questionable. Oh, shit. E Got him in a corner. If you had ordered Dawson to give Santiago a code red... I specifically ordered those men... Is it reasonable to, to think he would have disobeyed you again? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is he gonna stop? Lieutenant Kendrick. Do oh. No, I did not. Thank you. <sighs> So close. Oh. I got the tower chief's log from that night. Just up to tell him the truth. 6 a.m. flight was the first plane out. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of cops outside. What's going on? That's the guard. Oh, security. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. I thought he, like, died or something. <laughs> first flight stateside left Guantanamo Bay at 2300. Why isn't it listed in the tower chief's log? Jessup. I'll get the logbook from Andrews. You're not going to find anything in the Andrews logbook either. What? Counterintelligence, right? <laughs> There's got to be someone who can testify to the flight. Forget the flight. We'll put Marcus in on the stand and we'll deal with Jessup's refusal to transfer Santiago and he'll testify to the forged transfer and that'll be enough. Yeah, I don't feel good about this. As soon as yeah. Tom Cruise told Kevin Bacon well, that they to, had right? him, the lawyers I was... have to share the information. Yeah, no, I, I know that, but like, that worries me. Mm. You're going to do fine. Oh. You think they'll let us go back to our platoon soon, ma'am? Absolutely. I mean, I don't think Kevin Bacon's character would, like, give any info that he doesn't have to. Mm. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Santiago, I was William's executive officer. Oh, crap. He's about to commit suicide, isn't he? What? Your son is dead for only one reason. I wasn't strong enough to stop it. Yeah. Yep. United States Marine Corps. What the f***? No. Why did you go to Private Santiago's room? Code Red was ordered by my platoon commander, Lieutenant Jonathan James Kendrick. Like, I knew that guy was in danger, but I didn't think... Yeah. Of, like, from himself. Jesus. How far is it from Post 39 to the Windward Barracks? Pick up and me did it in 45 flat, sir. Well, if you didn't make it back to the barracks until 1645, how could you be in your room at 1620? Did you ever actually hear Lieutenant Kendrick order a Code Red? Oh, shit. Yeah. He just follows whatever Dawson does, right? Mm. Why don't Your you honor. go to Santiago's room, pal? Did Lance Corporal Dawson tell you- Oh, God. I was given an order by my squad leader, Lance Corporal Harold W. Dawson, United States Marine Corps, and I followed it. Oh, that poor kid. So flustered. Uh, Sam and I were just talking about how all we really have to do is call some witnesses who will talk about implied orders or 
Maybe we put Downey back on the stand before we get to Dawson. Like, why wouldn't they just tell the truth that, like, Kendrick ordered Code Red, we, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's... That's that code, happen. right? Unit platoon. She's gonna make something something country. Can't remember. That was an important piece of information, don't you think? We fix it and move on to Markinson. Markinson's dead. I still think we can win. Maybe you should drink a little. <laughs> yeah, where's Jack Nicholson? They need to get him. Mm. You didn't want the transfer order. You wanted to see Jessup's reaction when you asked for the transfer order. You had an instinct and it was confirmed mm. by Markinson. Mm hmm. What do we have for the losers, Judge? For Defense Counsel Kathy. That's right. It's a court martial. Yes, Johnny. <gasps> Jesus. Thank you for playing. Should we or should we not follow the advice of the galactically stupid? Jesus. That's a Nicholas Cage level of anger. But I, I feel like um, the Colonel can be manipulated. He's so ego driven and so, you know. Mm hmm. Because, like, he admitted that Code Red happens under his authority off the record without being prompt. He just, like, threw that out there just because he felt like he can say it, I think. Because hmm. he's the boss of the island. Yeah. So I think you can manipulate somebody with that kind of ego. You should have seen yourself thunder away, Kendra. Did you put Jessup on the stand? No. Go in! Let's go! <laughs> should he be driving? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why can't... Why can't the other guy drive? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Can you find him though? Oh yeah, I guess. I don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my second wing. Sit down, both of you. <laughs> good. <laughs> when Jessup needs to tell the court members that he ordered the code red. And now you think you can get him to just say it? I think he wants to say. It. He said it once before. Hmm. Yeah. He eats breakfast 300 yards away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan? That's the plan. How are you going to do it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need my bat. I think better with my bat. Where's my bat? <laughs> <He's such> <laughs> Don't ever put that bat in the closet. He's a very fidgety character. Like he's either eating or playing with something. Mm. Yeah. What did he? What? 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 The only thing I can think of is the uh, Santiago's closet when he like, yeah. but I don't know what he, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> yeah. It's making me think, reminding me that I need to iron my shirts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't delete files. Mm -hmm. Jessup's going to have his hands full today. <laughs> Listen, Danny. <laughs> He's so nervous. Yeah. You feel like he's not going to say it. Don't go for it. Defense calls Colonel Nathan Jessup. Oh, okay. I ordered Markinson to have Santiago transferred off the base. I felt his life might be in danger. Grave danger? Is there another kind? <laughs> Nicholson is so intimidating. <laughs> the 0600 was the first flight off the base. Oh, you flew up to Washington early this morning, is that right? Did you wear that uniform on the plane? Please, Accord, is this dialogue relevant? <laughs> Toothbrush, shaving kit, change of underwear. Your Honor! <laughs> is the Colonel's underwear a matter of national security? <laughs> Santiago's barracks room was sealed off and its contents inventory. Four pairs of camouflage pants, three long sleeve khaki shirts. Ah. Uh, Lieutenant Kathy, I have to ask you to state your question. He didn't pack personal things. I'm wondering why Santiago was impacked. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Okay. The past 24 mm -hmm. hours after being subpoenaed to Washington, you made three calls and highlighted those calls in yellow. And these are 14 letters that Santiago wrote begging for a transfer. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people he called? Mm. Zero. And then pack. Yeah. And according to you, he was getting on a plane in six hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Santiago was leaving for the rest of his life and he hadn't packed a thing. It's fishy. I'm an educated man, but I'm afraid I can't speak intelligently about the travel habits of William Santiago. Mm. Please tell me that you have something more, Lieutenant. Do you have any other questions for me, oh. Counselor? I felt so good a moment ago. He turned it around in one sentence. Lieutenant, do you have anything further mm. for this witness? 
push it, push it, push it. Thanks, Danny. I love Washington. Excuse me. I didn't dismiss you. No. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Defense counsel will address the witness as Colonel. Oh. oh. Guantanamo log lists no flight that left at 11 p.m. and the Andrews log lists no flight that landed at 2 a.m. Airman Cecil O'Malley and Airman Anthony Rodriguez, they were working the ground crew at Andrews at 2 a.m. Oh, so they did get the ground crew of people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Check the tower logs for Christ's sake. Well, we'll get to the airman in just a minute, sir. Oh, they're just here to mess with him? Mm. Any chance Lieutenant Kendrick ignored the order? No. We follow orders or people die. Get him angry. Get him. Mm -hmm. If you gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, and your orders are always followed, right. why would Santiago be in danger? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Santiago was a substandard Marine. It's not what you said. You said he was being transferred because he was in oh my great God. danger. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes men take matters into their own hands. No, sir. You made it clear just a moment ago that your men never take matters in their own hands. Your men follow orders or people die. <laughs> Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Oh, that's what it's from. Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. Jesus. Probably saved Did you order the code red? I did the job! Did you order the code red? <gasps> Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't even believe it. <laughs> I suggest the members be dismissed. Holy shit. I'm gonna get on a plane and go on back to my base. You're not going anywhere, Colonel. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. I'm being charged with a crime. Right to consult with a lawyer. <laughs> I'm gonna rip the eyes out of your head oh. and piss at your dead skull! <sighs> <laughs> Sweet dreams, son. Don't call me son. I'm a lawyer and an officer in the United States Navy. And you're under arrest, you son of a bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. We need to get uh, the Kendrick guy, too. Because he also mm. perjured himself. Mm-hmm. On the charge of murder... The members find the accused not guilty. And you are ordered to be dishonorably discharged from the Marine Corps. Mm-hmm. Shit. Shit. What does that mean? Oh. He was supposed to fight for people who couldn't fight for themselves. He was supposed to fight for Willie. Yeah. You don't need to wear a patch in your arm to have honor. There's an officer on deck. Because what exactly were these guys going to testify to? Unless I'm mistaken, they're both going to testify under oath that they had absolutely no recollection of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go arrest Kendrick. Tell him I say hi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so great. So casual. I'm going to go arrest Kendrick now. <laughs> Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I uh -huh. feel like Jack Nicholson and Johnny Knoxville grew up in the same area. <laughs> okay. You know, I I don't know anything. Sure. I just have a I feel like anyway, it doesn't matter. The ending there. Yeah. Two charges dropped, one guilty. Yes. I like it. Because that's the important distinction, right? It's that, you know, yeah. they're not responsible for technically, or so to speak, because they were following orders. They didn't even have a choice to not follow the orders. Yeah. But it is to address the cultiness, <laughs> the zealousness, and forgetting the oh. original reason why they existed as a role. It was so cool to see Tom Cruise as this, like... Mm -hmm. It was such a cool character, because he was such a spaz a little bit of the, when he got drunk and, like... I've never seen Tom Cruise like that. That was <laughs> crazy. I wish there was more Jack Nicholson. <laughs> like, he's um, so intimidating, but then he just vanished for, like, the entire second act. Mm. And you know what? he's just I, so fun to watch. The amount that we saw him 
mm-hmm. was en- was enough to to learn exactly who that guy is. I understand like <laughs> enjoying his character because he's so good at being that. But like I thought it was I thought it was okay. Like it's not just that though. It's that um because like they they spent the first act building him up, right? They they said that like yo he's we're seventeen years counterintelligence. You can side sidestep all the landmines. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Um, but we didn't get to see him actually mm, sidestep any true. landmines. You know what I mean? Like okay, he he took out the logs, but that's just yeah. like his rank allows him to do that basically. Right. right. And then and then he's immediately in the courtroom at the end. And then, you know, mm. it's great that like the payoff is that um, Tom Cruise's character uh, manipulated into his ego and got mm. what he wanted. But it's yeah. like, so where is the showcase of his? Yeah, skill? I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, That's I also would have loved to good see good movie. Keeper Sutherland's downfall. <laughs> just, I know. I like, wanted to as well. Yeah, po- just... Post credit scene. Arrest Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly to answer your question, Johnny Knoxville and Jack Nicholson is not related. Boo. And they did not even grow up in relate even remotely near areas. They sound so Jack, similar. Jack they, Nicholson grew up in New Jersey and Johnny mm-hmm. Knoxville grew up in Tennessee. Um, but right. that wraps up this episode of Cinebinge. Thanks everyone for joining mm-hmm. us. Please mm-hmm. like, share, subscribe. And if you want to support us even further, you can head over to our Patreon. Yeah, we'd like to thank our patrons for helping us keep doing this. Yeah. And uh, shout out to uh, Apid Andy, Carl's in charge, AC10, Always Dead, Ben AM, Crazy's Relative, Crow, <laughs> uh, Dave Atchard, Draco Argentum, Drew Atchison, Eric Gray, Eric Curry, Fred the Squig, Leval Turtle, and I'm Jack Starlight. Thank you all very Thanks, much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye.